In this video, I'll show you five powerful ways to create cinematic AI VFX using tools like Kling, Midjourney, Runway, Photoshop, and Topaz Labs. Whether you're building a sci-fi world, adding slow motion, or transforming your character with fire and metal, these methods are beginner-friendly, visually stunning, and require no traditional VFX software. Let's jump in. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this. Let's start with my favorite method for creating visual effects. If you're looking to add cinematic motion to your shots, this one's a standout. You can apply it to your own footage and get impressive results quickly. First, we'll choose the two strongest frames from your clip, one from the beginning and one from the end. This way, we emphasize the camera movement and give the AI more context to work with. Once you've picked your frames, it's time to build the prompt. I'm using ChatGPT, powered by my custom VFX prompt reference. You can find the link to that in the pinned comment below. We upload both frames into GPT and ask it to write a video prompt where our character has large angel wings in a visually striking cinematic style. We grab the generated text, just the core part of the prompt, and move forward. Now we jump into Kling, and for this effect we're using model 1.6. Important, set the mode to elements, not frames. This helps Kling retain reference from our base footage while also applying the prompt's visual impact. We paste the prompt in, set clip length to 10 seconds, and generate. Here's the result. It already looks good, and with a bit of color grading, it'll be spot on. But we're not done yet. There's one more key step. We now upscale the video using Topaz Video AI. Two goals, sharpen and enhance resolution. Add smooth slow motion, which will give us better pacing and more flexibility during the final edit. Now the effect looks cinematic and polished. Let's try a slightly different approach, this time using just one frame. You don't always need two reference images. Depending on how much camera motion your clip has, you can test using just one to three. In this case, I'll stick with a single image. We upload the frame and ask ChatGPT to generate a prompt that enhances the mood of the environment and the character's face rather than just the background. Aside from using fewer frames, the process remains the same. We generate using Kling, and the result looks solid. It leans more into a darker, stylized tone, less colorful, more moody. A bit of extra post-processing would definitely elevate it even more. Let's explore a more traditional approach but still using AI as a core tool. This technique works well under two conditions. First, the camera is mostly static. Two, the character is centered and remains within a predictable zone of the frame. Inside Premiere Pro, we crop the left and right edges of the shot using the crop effect. This gives us a blank background area for our AI-generated set extension. Next, we export a frame from the video. Anywhere is fine. In Photoshop, we combine the frame with a solid background color, duplicate the layers for safety, and use the Smart Selection tool to mark the background space. Now we use Generative Fill. For this demo, I type in a prompt asking for a futuristic sci-fi city. The result is seamless. The generated backdrop fits perfectly into the cropped space and keeps the scene looking cohesive. We turn off the video layer, export just the background, and re-import it into Premiere. Drop it behind the original shot, and boom, we've got a full AI-enhanced matte replacement. After a bit of color grading, the result looks cinematic and clean. This one is fun. It changes the entire visual tone of your footage. First, take the first frame of your video using Premiere. This will be our retexturing base. We then ask a custom GPT designed for mid-journey prompts to describe a scene with a character in a snow and frost theme. The idea is to shift into a magical winter atmosphere. Paste the prompt into mid-journey using the retexture feature. We upload the frame and the new prompt, then generate. The results. Amazing. I pick the strongest frame and move on. Now we go into Runway Gen 3, not Gen 4, because Gen 3 still supports image reference input. We load our original video, add the mid-journey frame as a style reference and hit generate, no text prompt needed. The animation comes out nicely, though there are minor flaws. Once we upscale it with Topaz Video AI, it'll clean up well and be ready for editing. Last up, Higgsfield AI, which is especially great for stylized special effects. We start with a frame from our video, no prompt needed this time. In the Higgsfield interface, I'll combine Turning Metal and Morph Skin to generate a transformation effect. The result is decent, but not quite the style I was after. 
So let's switch things up, this time using a fire-based effect, with the same input settings. Now it looks way better. With some sound design and color, this would work great in a stylized action edit. These five workflows give you a wide range of cinematic effects, all powered by AI. Whether you're going for something surreal, magical, futuristic, or character-driven, these methods can help you create high-quality visuals without traditional VFX software. I'd say, test them out, remix the prompts, and see what fits your creative workflow. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check the links in the comments for prompt templates, GPT tools, and bonus resources. See you in the next one.